Hi, my name is John Howard, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Piso Pen. In a few minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Piso Pen on some of the common conditions you may see walking through your clinic. But before we get there, there's a few things I'd like to say. First is, I talked about the Piso Pen yesterday in my introduction, but one of the things I didn't mention was there's a third type of Piso Pen, and that's called a PS2 Stim, which is right here. It gives out a little bit of a milder current. Um, it's good for patients who are energy sensitive or even for like yourself if you're energy sensitive and you don't want to use the hammer stim probe or you don't have one yet. You can also use this for uh, the ear. You got to be very careful with that though because it will cause sometimes a little bit of discomfort to your patient. But if it's used correctly, it's a powerful tool. The second thing I want to talk to you about is the hammer stim probe, which is this. The other day I was showing you how to use the hammer stim probe and how to connect it and I mentioned that I've never used a hammer stim probe and that's correct. But over the course of the last week or so I've been actually using my clinic and on some of my patients and myself and one of the things I found that was very interesting with the hammer stim probe was that it gives out a little bit of a stronger current which is a good thing sometimes. When I use the piezo pen I use myself as the ground so I hold the piezo pen in my one hand and I use my finger as the, as the ground, the point I'm going to um, a treat. Uh, the problem with that sometimes is though is that myself takes some of the energy out of the, out of the treatment. So I found when I use the hammer stim probe, the patient gets a little bit of a stronger current, like I said, which is a good thing. It seems to work a little bit better. So I guess I, I stumbled upon a clinical pearl. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here this morning. So. I just wanted to tell you that and in a few minutes we're going to get going with some of the treatments you're going to see here. All right.